hi it's been a while since i have shared a video or posted um anything on instagram um our family we started a new chapter of our lives and uh we have um left the states uh, to work on a project and move to um sweden this beautiful country in europe and um we have we had many reasons to come here uh, one my parents live in europe and it's just easier to drive uh, uh, to see them uh, versus flying most people speak english um, in sweden and, and it allowed for an easier transition for us and the girls we just felt connected to the untouched nature of sweden all of the lakes and rivers and uh, it's just so beautiful it's like we live in the dream it's it's a vacation spot but it's actually our home right now so we are blessed to be here and uh, it, the nature here is just spectacular it's just a lot easier to feel less stressed and gives you the calmness and it's grounding and empowering at the same time it's just wonderful and we enjoy living here uh, people are very nice here in Sweden uh, very uh, helpful and friendly and is and we've lived in uh, or we have been to uh, different countries and uh, Sweden so far is, is something where something that we feel connected to um actually we've gone on a road trip recently well it's been a week ago um we've uh visited my parents in germany and uh as part of the trip we have visited uh eight countries including sweden actually here's a little glimpse of our travel our euro trip has Yes. Today's Thursday and we are leaving in the evening so that we can drive through the night uh, and we'll be driving for about eight hours including charging through Sweden before we reach Norway and then about two hours before we reach Oslo. Um, our car needs to be charged about every two and a half hours or so so we'll have plenty of time to get out of the car and stretch. It's already midnight and even though it is very cloudy today this is as dark as it will get and not sure if it comes through the camera but this area looks like a scene out of some mystical fairy tale and we're in Norway I love the Scandinavian summers it gets bright so early Oh, look at this, guys. How beautiful it is here. It's amazing how many people drive electric cars in this country. And it is probably the country with the most tunnels in one city. Bridges, tunnels, and several charging stations. So we are finally getting closer to the ferry, which will take us from Norway to Denmark. Um, and the ferry ride is going to take about four, four and a half hours, which will give us some time to rest and uh, walk around.
it is Saturday now and um, so it is the third day that we have been on the road uh, we drove through Denmark at night and we are now in Germany I have to admit I feel so good to be back and I'm looking forward to seeing my parents of course rested and spend good time with my parents and today we are exploring uh, we are visiting the castle Schloss down uh, the records of this castle date back to the 14th century courtyard with a variety of flowers and but the views of the valley below are just spectacular We've spent a wonderful time with my parents and it was so good to see them again. And uh, now we are leaving Germany to go back home. But first we're going to go to France through Luxembourg. It's only two hours away from where we are. That's what I love about traveling through Europe. We had breakfast in Germany and it's almost lunchtime so we'll stop to eat. Uh, as we go through a town that has a restaurant in Luxembourg and later we'll have dinner in France. So excited! We are now in the French town Thionville look at this architecture uh, the foundation of this town dates back to the settlements during reign of the western roman empire so a lot of history in this town of about 40,000 people so let's see if we can find a place to eat dinner as we are all pretty hungry <laughs> We went into a grocery store and look at what we found. A wall of Nutella. Get your crepes out, friends. After staying overnight in France, we drove through Belgium. And we are going to stay in the Netherlands today, in a town called Vals. And we'll be staying at this beautiful Hotel Castille Blomendal. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at this, guys. They prepared a sofa bed for you. Oh, it is beautiful. We've stayed at many different hotels in various countries hotels that were way less glamorous than this but I feel like we are going to thoroughly enjoy staying at this one for a night or two oh, what a bathroom and a jacuzzi tub and wow I'm loving this shower and French doors leading outside onto the patio. 
I wonder if these are pictures of real people. There is a lot of interesting history behind this castle. The Ahn cloth manufacturer Arnold from Clermont, Russian Tsar, Ladies Order, Catholic Boarding School, Rose Kennedy, and now a hotel for all of us to enjoy. We need to take Aspen out on a walk, right Aspen? And we all need to stretch our legs a little bit and explore. So right next to the hotel grounds, we found a path to a park and it's perfect for us so we can take Aspen on the wall. Wow. Look at these beautiful trees, 2D trees. And how they were grown into pergola. Shaky camera because someone is pulling on, my, on the leash. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. Where did you go? Oh, it's closed off. Mm -hmm. Sheepy babies! There's sheep in the park. Yeah. Oh my god. You want to hurt him? Aspen. No, she's too busy smelling stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my Good goodness. goodness. They like it. They're waiting time. Just it's too out of Aspen is totally ignoring them. <laughs> sheep, Aspen, Aspen, sheep. They don't care and she doesn't care. Yeah. Smelling the roses, Aspen? They are beautiful. I think Aspen is done. So we can go back to the room. And we are back on the road and back in Germany. And we are actually driving through Hamburg right now. Look at all of these shipping containers. Hamburg is a major port city in Germany, but we are only going to see the outskirts of it as we need to hurry home. And uh, we have to go through Denmark. We are going to visit our old friends who moved back to Denmark from our neighborhood in the States. So we are all super excited to see them again. We're in Denmark now. Uh, this is the country that connects our new home with my old home. My friend's roses are absolutely gorgeous and they smell divine. And we are back in the car. It was so good to see our friends again and spend some time with them catching up. And we actually stayed a little longer than we planned as the bridge from Halskov. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, to Nyborg was closed because of the Tour de France. But the bridge is open now and we are getting closer to our home. The race was actually a very short while ago and you can see the race uh, uh, racing fans and the support vehicles and the tour buses leaving the race site. are getting closer to the underground or the underwater I should say tunnel and then the famous bridge that connects Denmark and Sweden and then we are on our home turf oh my God. bye bye Denmark I'm sure we'll see you again soon We are back home and look at this view. So I'm going to leave you with this view, my friends. We see us.